Okay, so uh, I primarily carry everything in the front. As we've seen, I like to carry the knife in the front for lateral carry draws for retention of the firearm. Um, I also, personally, I like to carry, I usually conceal. So I carry uh, in waistband, I carry appendix personally, just because uh, from a retention standpoint and for me, I find it very comfortable. I Same. usually don't like something sitting on my hip. I do not carry anything on my back unless I'm scout carrying laterally a knife. And that's depending what I'm wearing and where I'm going that day. Um, so what I kind of want to talk about is pros and cons of appendix. We kind of already talked about it with the knife. Well, let's talk about it with a firearm and we're going to talk about some retention. So first off, let's pretend uh, the, knife, the gun, either I'm wearing it, uh, OWB, so visible to the public. Outside the waistband. Yep, so uh, non-concealing on the hip, right? Because I would say quite a bit of people carry their guns here. Oh, I would yeah. say appendix is now starting to become a little bit more popular, but since forever, people it's always carry been, a gun here. Yeah, three o'clock. Yeah, and you know, this, this is cool. If you practice this, this is great. Uh, I used to carry this way, I just found it. I like appendix a little bit better. Yeah. One of the things that I don't like about this, especially if carrying in a visible manner, me and Jake are talking, we're hanging out, maybe we're at the store. Chris, big bad guy comes up, grabs my gun. There's a bad guy. Look at the situation we're in now. How am I gonna have any retention and any fight into that? So if you, we're talking specifically if you're not concealed. Even if concealed, I mean, I could printing. lift this shirt. Let's say the guy's yeah. printing. Yeah. yeah go, and you I mean, see pull, it. Pull your shirt up over it. Okay, we're here. I mean, you can. I mean, even if you it's can a little see more. That. Yeah, you, know? even. you can. Now, most people don't know what to look for, but since we all carry, yeah. I see a square shape mm -hmm. right here. Yeah, you know. So all I'd have to do, I mean, if you guys are talking, yeah, we're talking. Come up, out. continue to push you away, and then... right. And that's an issue we're gonna run into. Um, second, let's, let's let's slow that down. I just want to show yeah. something because there's always gonna be the what ifs in the comments. He comes up, grabs, and this is slow mo, or my shirt was all the way not tucked in, all the way out. And I feel this, and I do go to grab, I grab his hand. Let's look at mechanics real quick. In order for me... push you. Okay, but wait. In order for me to turn and face you, in order to fight, I can't fight you backwards, right? I would have to turn this way. As you can see, beautiful. He follows, right? I didn't even have to tell him to do that. He, he naturally, basic motor skill, right? Let's pretend you don't move, and you stay there, and you're just trying to just pull the gun out a little bit. As you can see, I start to turn. See how I can't? In order to keep my grip on this, I would either have to let go and replace. That second I let go is the second he gets the gun out. Or, I do get this to manage and work. Look how crossed up and awkward a position Everything I'm in. Is. Yeah, yeah, and we already know. You're going to be able to pull the gun right out. I'm going to yeah. have no problem. So that's one reason why I don't like to carry in that position. Yeah. One, because anybody can come up behind me and just grab the gun. Two, I carry appendix. Okay. From this position, actually, let's go back to here. We're front. You go to grab the gun. Okay. From here, this is going to be kind of awkward, okay, to either try to get this off because let's say we're more at a side angle here. Yeah, and you're grabbing. And now I'm bearing down on here, whether it be hand, elbow, controlling, two on one here, hand, and coming up either into the armpit or shoulder or I'm just bearing down on my own firearm. Mm -hmm. One of the issues we're gonna run into, yeah, you're gonna hit me, but you can still hit me even if it's in the appendix position. And the problem why I don't like this is because you can see how this is lateral, it's on my side. When you start pulling, everything starts where, see how when you actually pull that, you're actually turning my hip. Yeah. Yeah, and that's an issue I don't like. Well, not, I mean, everything's turning. Like, you're, you're vertical right here, as soon as I get this, and barely even pull, yeah, everything pull. comes in my favor. See, see, how my, see how my hip just turned? Yeah. You're doing that. Go ahead and grab and not try to hold. Yeah, see how my yeah. hip, yeah, I don't like that. Because if I need to move, if I, let's hypothetically say, I need to throw like a knee or You're something. You're aiding in the drop. I'm completely off balance is yeah. one of my issues. Third thing, let's go into that same thing you just did. Try to pull my gun up. See, I'm not off balance though. Yeah. Right, I could just walk right into you or go to pull. Okay. Yes, the trigger guard's out. Nothing stops my second hand from reholstering. Yeah. Okay. And this is in front. So in order for you to try and grab my gun when it's not in a lateral position, maybe we're here, we're talking, you see my gun, maybe I'm printing, or I've actually seen people tuck their shirts in and carry their guns like this. All the time, dude. Not a fan of that. Or if but, like you go to like move like this and I see a gun. Sure. You know? And you go to grab this. 
Okay, if I see someone reach, just in general, not even a gun, if someone tries to like grab you, aren't you like swatting away? You're like, hey, what are you doing? Yeah. Well, I'm just like creating Natural space. Natural reaction, right? Yeah. right? And this is in front of me, right? So I can be in a good stance, is usually how I stand. It's non threatening, right? We're good. And you go to grab, okay? Either I'm going to parry outward or go again. Here, yeah. go again. And I'm grabbing. And I might be shooting this back, and I'm like, dude, what are you doing? You know, whatever the case may be. Because now, we're square and I'm completely visible to everything you're doing. Because yeah. in this case, it was lateral. I might be talking this direction, you come and grab. And maybe behind, you come and grab. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. Yes, I'm watching my peripheral. We try to use our situational awareness. But, you know, this guy might be some dude who's asking for directions or whatever, and all of a sudden tries to nab your gun. Yeah. Right? But that's something we don't want to run into. <laughs> now, I kind of want to talk about something a little bit different is this is the main reason why I don't like carrying a gun on my hip. For whatever reason, we go to the ground. Oh, let's see, I'm on my right side. How am I going to draw my gun? You can't. Now, people are going to be like, well, why don't you just turn to your back? Let's pretend Jake, Chris, whoever is on top of me. So we now have friction of my body on top of the firearm and however you want to get on top, I don't really care. Mountain. Yeah, mount, yep, that's totally cool. <laughs> there is no way I'm going to be able to turn, especially if he's hitting, striking, or just Trapping, right. right? I'm not turning. There's no way I'm gonna get the gun from here, right? Even if I try to come under, I have no grip. Yeah. Now let's get up just one second. Um, I'm belly down. For whatever reason, we ended up here, okay? Go ahead and just grab the gun. You can just grab and pull that right out. Go ahead. See how easy that is for him to grab the gun? Now, assuming, let's go Very back. Very easy. Let's go back real quick. Go back to what? Yeah, just go ahead and see if you can reroll. You want me to stay on you? Yep. Now he goes to grab again. I trap. Okay, maybe I do have a hand on him. It's not going to be strong enough. He has top position, so he's going to have more leverage. Yep. I'm trapped with friction. Go ahead and draw the gun. Yeah, I'm top. Yep, even I, I can't. Yep. I can't stop that. Okay. Now, another. I turn on to the side where we think I'd be able to draw. Let's, uh, any position you want to go mount side control, you can just go knee on me. I don't really care. However, yeah. yeah, however you like. Let's go. All right, I'm knee on you. Yep, perfect. Trap right here. Okay, so he has downward force. So how much do you weigh? Buck 70. Buck 70? <laughs> Gravity is very good at its job. He now, if he applies all pressure, he's about 210 pounds. Okay? Friction, gun trapped in holster with retention, my hand on, two hands trapping my one arm. This is not a good position. I try to draw, absolutely not. Now, here's the question. Why don't you move away and try to draw the gun? I'm on my back friction. or on my side. I have friction, which is one, gonna slow me down. Two, he's top position. He can move quicker than I can squirm away. So if I try to move, even if I go flat to my back, well, guess what? It, perfect, mounts me. And now, I'm, I'm trapped. There's no way I'm getting this gun out, okay? So, that's it for that. If we go appendix, reason why I like this, if I go belly down, you have no gun. Now, I'm not in a very good position. I might be eating strikes to the back of my head. I don't ever recommend anyone going belly down. But if this were, if we end up in this position, you know, at least your firearm is not being taken from you. Um, if we end up on the side here, okay, and he grabs, all I have to do is use my back to extend. So instead of this motion, see how it's strong? All I'm gonna do is I dig my toes into the ground. I'm gonna use a little, little jiu-jitsu trick here. And I'm gonna back extension here. See how the gun comes right out? I might start putting oh. rounds here. Yeah. Turning, start trying to fire upward. We go to the other side. So this is towards the ground now. I have hand on. Same thing, try to pull up, no good. This foot right here, we're gonna use a little bit of shrimping method. I might be here, I might be here, whatever the case may be. Try to pull out, not good. I might bridge up a little bit onto an angle here, and now I'm gonna shoot my hips back. Yep, go right back where you were. So see how my butt's off the ground, I'm up onto my shoulder, and I shoot my hips back, gun comes out, and now- That's right in the dick. Yep. Right in the dick. Yep, so that's another method as to why I like that. Um, let's say we are, uh, you're standing over me, and we end up in a position here. If I carry on my back, not getting it. Carry on my side, he's gonna be able to trap, probably using Put your foot right on my hand. Just be a dick and just step right on me. I'm not getting that gun out. I'm yeah. telling you right now. There's no way. Okay? If we're here, nothing stops from drawing and coming up.
Okay. And if I was left handed, I carry the same thing. It'd be the same way. All you would do is just put your foot on me and stop it. Because even if you tried to come down, you could always bring your legs up to block. Right? And that's we're gonna eventually get into that. Gotcha. Yep. So this is just if the guy standing mount position and he's just he's throwing like strikes oh, right. on I'm me. Just, I'm just throwing yeah, he's down doing this. To the top. I might cover, maybe hit the knee. We're not really gonna go into all the attacks because this is there's like a thousand yes. things. What if situations you could do from here? Our main goal is just talking retention about how I can still get this firearm into action. Yeah. Um, but if it was here, like I said, if it's laterally, he, all he's gonna do is just step on it. It does not take a trained guy to do this. So all he does is put his foot on. Yep. And now he is holding that, all of his body weight, and he's dropping bombs on me. This is not a good time. Right side of your face is exposed. And now right? people are saying, what if you kick? What if you knee? Well, if this guy has any training, the second I bring my knee up, he's gonna sit down on it. Yeah. That's what I do. We call that a half butterfly position. He sits I'm down gonna on sit down on that, thing. pin the heel to my ass. Now you've just decreased my mobility by like 200. So, so yeah, yeah. I mean like that's- Dude, I'm fucked. This is not good. not gonna be. And because I'm fixated my hand on here, I don't have grips. So I don't have leverage to start working attacks, sweeps, submissions. And again, in a fight, I don't wanna do that because the second I let go and I start going for something, that's a chance for you to grab. Even if I swept you, you might have a hand on my gun. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, I love the, the argument sometimes, like, people don't like to appendix because you don't want to point a gun at something you don't intend to shoot it's or destroy. It's a retarded argument. One, the only thing that's going to shoot that gun is this or yes. something you need to trigger. Correct. So get a good holster. Two, I don't want kids anyways. Be doing me a favor. The world doesn't three, need kids. Three, w true. With all of the things you just showed, there's literally nothing but pros. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So well, no one thinks about the retention aspects. Everyone thinks they're just going to get their gun out and they're just going to shoot someone. It's going to be that easy. Yeah. Well, and I, I think there's an argument too in terms of honestly, it's more comfortable at the very least for me, it is. Yeah. And in reality, if it's comfortable enough that you're going to do it every day, that's better that's point. than 50% of the time. Yeah. Sup oh, superior method, but I'm only doing it half the time. I'd rather be a little compromised, but I'm gonna always have it. Yeah. Then it gets into like, you know, I'm big guy. I I appendix carried a Desert Eagle 50 the other day at the store. Couldn't tell, right? My daily carry is a 43 with yeah. an extra mag. Super small gun. Because one, it works with gym shorts, basketball shorts, sweatpants, anything. Two, driving with it. Like usually with the Glock 19, I'll take it off and put it in the cup holster. Yeah. Sure. 43. Dude, when I picked up Devin, shout out to Devin. I drove from Phoenix to Vegas, four and a half hours, appendix here. I because drive. it's so comfortable, it does not bother me. I usually drive with it still in the And I stopped, you know, on, to get gas on the way, and, you know, instead of just holstering up every time, I just literally got out of the truck. And That's why I like it, because I, I don't like having to take the gun out. So what I do, so I can still access it if in, in the car, is I tuck my shirt behind it, That's what I and I pull the seatbelt seat behind, behind it, so it. I yeah. still have yeah. retention, Same. and I don't have to, you know, reholster in a public setting or in the car where it may be uncomfortable or confined space because my vehicles aren't very large like your guys' trucks. Um, so when I get out, all I do is just throw my shirt right over and you never know. And same, even tuck in your, that's how you should carry if you're gonna conceal carry while driving anyways, because if you have to bail out, you unclip your seatbelt and literally because it's behind the gun, it's out of the way. Well, the other thing too is when people carry at that three, four o'clock position and they have a seatbelt on, how are you gonna get your, Thank you. It's a nightmare. In a car. It's a nightmare. We've all done it. Yeah. Yeah. And you shouldn't have to change the way you care. So let's say like I appendix in the car, but when I get out of the car, then I switch the position. You should, why? We should not do that. Train in one specific. That's like on Tuesdays, I carry a 1911. On Thursdays, I carry a Glock. Why? Isn't that you? I know. That ain't Jake. That ain't. Nah. No. Nah. He's 1911 or nothing. You're seasonally dependent, right? You kind of switch up during the seasons. I live in a climate where it gets very hot and then it gets very cold. And when it's cold, I can get away carrying a 2011. Yeah. Typically, that is going to get carried a uh, strong side for me, yep. just because of, you live where it's 137 degrees right now, so it's <laughs> like, when you've got those garments and shit, honestly, yes. it's a lot easier to sweep yeah, and sweep have access and to my gun, I, yeah. versus like, trying to lift. And I've got a t-shirt, I've got a flannel, a fucking hoodie, and a coat, and you're like, hang on, Fucking layer, layer, yeah, yeah, layer, layer, and eventually. So, sure. like for me, s season will dictate yep. both size of gun and carry and that's position. That's a realistic, ex not I don't yeah. even say an excuse, but like a uh, method of carry. Me yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And and it also gets into the realm that, that we've talked about before, which is hey, once you, I I think once you hit a certain level of proficiency, which is not to say like any of us here are like ninjas or anything, but like I think you can take a little bit of liberty going, hey, look, I'm trained. I can start to make some decisions yeah. that I, you know I feel a little bit more comfortable sure. making yeah absolutely we get people you know asking me daily with the other stuff I do like 
hey, like, how should I carry? And unfortunately, a lot of females won't carry in a purse because it's convenient. Yeah. And I'm but strongly against it. Talking it's about the deployment thing, though, if that's considered an off-body carry. True. But also, my thing is, hey, someone steals your purse, ah. they get the gun and your ID. True. If it's on you, if he takes your IDs, your credit cards, we can replace those. Pierce. But if he comes back to try and kill you, you have a gun on you. Yeah. It's in your purse. He's now taken all your options away. Mm -hmm. So I and they're like, well, it's not convenient because I wear Lululemon. Get Lululemon. A, get a smaller and I'm like, gun. And well, one, a get a smaller gun and a holster. Or, yeah. dude, would you rather be like wearing tight and that's the jeans question you or protect someone, your life? If you make you know? excuses like that, you gotta ask them. Should you really be should, carrying a gun? I always you, turn them to me. Are you are stuff. you just Carrying it for that false sense of false security. Senses. False sense of security is what I would say. It's like when people carry a knife, but they don't train any blade. Correct. They yeah. don't know how to deploy it. They don't know any slashing. They just think they're going to run at you in rapid shank. Well, and you know, a lot of people go overhand. Yeah. If you've ever seen a prison fight with shanks, no one ever does that. It's all close, yep. small movements. Correct. Yeah. And that, again, another thing with this FUD was he always carries reverse hand. And I'm like, you it's, obviously have no idea what you're talking there's about. There's some good place. stuff with it. Uh, from a clinch perspective, beautiful. Yeah. But if we're going to be out here and I know we're going to end up in some sort of duel, yeah. I'm not going to be out here trying to reach because we talked about last time, it decreases my range. If I have a four inch blade and I'm doing this, well now my blade is facing downward and now it's only the reach of my fist, which I'm a short guy. But if I have a four inch blade and I'm carrying regular, I just four increase inches. four inches to my reach. I'm good with four inches. Yeah, yeah four inches you are. for you, not a big deal, but yeah, for yeah. like fucking Chris. I'd deal. take two and a half all day. Yeah. Anyway, thanks kids for uh, tuning in to this week's episode. Stay tuned for more family friendly fun next week. <laughs> cool.